Okay, I was going to do a live video and I can't figure out something with my setup. So I'm going to do that later. Um, but show uh, something interesting. So in um, Reddit or on Twitter, we had some interesting stuff pop up today. So if you open up in the new early access preview, in IntelliJ, there in the Kotlin projects, there is a JetBrains composed desktop and, and multi-platform, which it's like, wow. Um, so the multi-platform is actually, uh, quote unquote, just Android and desktop. Um, and although that's pretty amazing, it's not also iOS or whatever, which I think most of the <laughs> multi-platform world would lose their minds over. Um, I don't know what desktop means. Uh, it's saying JVM top target, so I assume that this is a Java thing. It's not a native compile thing, but that's uh, haven't looked into it enough. But anyway, if you go in, um, this IDE is not configured very well. Um, so I wound up doing this as un. Let me see here name. Um, let's see, it doesn't let me name the project, which is, you can tell the stuff's new. So this might actually fail because there's already one called untitled, but, uh, yeah, we get this untitled project and it might load for a while. I'll have to see. The good thing about not being live is I can cut all this out. Um, yeah, the bad thing about not being live is I have a ton of equipment prepared to do live and I cannot, which is sad. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the no place to type in the title, but uh, I assume that that's, you know, whatever, I'll figure that out. Um, so it looks like a multi-platform project. You've got common in the middle and then desktop and Android, which is pretty sweet. Um, I haven't gone too deep into this other than to say that there's an app which does some compose stuff. I also haven't done any compose. So um, that we're gonna have to get a little more familiar with. Um, but this all looks, you know, pretty straightforward to me. I've done some Swift UI and some React. So I feel like I, I can kind of see what this is intending to do. The platform just tells you the platform string, which is the classic uh, multi-platform expect actual example. So if it's the desktop, it's gonna say desktop. Surprise. So the, the issue you run into out of the gate is there's no default desktop. Like you could run the Android thing, which we're not going to do. So I guess my only contribution from this video is to tell you that if you go to desktop, look for application and then run that. And then that will do its thing. And we, well, that's unfortunate. This like absolutely worked <laughs> before. That sucks. Uh, what do we got? It's been compiled by a more recent version. Oh, get out of here. Okay. Um, so it's upset about my choice of Java runtime, which I guess we can briefly attempt to uh, rectify here. But I don't know if that's going to help. I found that when you have this kind of issue, um, there's multiple places you need to check, but not this time. 
because that worked. So it says hello world, and when you click on it, it will still say something else. Hello desktop, um, which is exactly what this does, right? On click, sets the text to hello desktop. So that's it.